Good afternoon everyone. Today's topic is metallurgy of unit 1. What is metallurgy? The branch of science dealing with the method of extraction of metals from their ores and the preparation of alloys is called metallurgy. Then before going through this topic, uh, let us discuss the fundamental ideas of minerals and ores. What is minerals? The minerals are the various compounds of metals which occur in nature and are obtained by mining. In other words, minerals are the compounds of the metals which are found in the earth and in which the metals are present in the combined state. Then ores. These minerals from which the metals can be extracted economically and conveniently are called ores. Thus, all minerals cannot be called ores, but all ores are called minerals. Let us discuss the difference between mineral and ores. Mineral contains low percentage of the metal. Ores contains the large percentage of the metal. The metals cannot be extracted from the mineral whereas the metals can be extracted from the ore. All minerals are not ores, but all ores are minerals. Examples are calaminite, carnalite, potas alum, etc. and hematite, galena, gypsum, asbestos are the examples of ores. Then the general principles of metallurgy. We know there are three parts of our Number one, atmosphere, hydrosphere, and lithosphere. The gases, state gases, uh, the above are surrounded by the gases, and these are called atmosphere, and the hydrospheres are the water portion of the earth, and lithospheres are the solid portion of the earth. Then, Composition of lithospheres. The composition of lithosphere number one igneous rock. Igneous rocks are formed by the magna, which comes out of the earth surface in the form of volcanic eruption. When this magna cools gradually over the years, it gets solidified into rocks which are called igneous rocks. For example, granite, pumice, feldspar, magnetite, etc. Then sedimentary rocks. The example of sedimentary rocks are called sandstone, limestone. Uh, examples of sedimentary rocks are sandstone, limestone, dolomite, etc. Then the third one is metamorphic rock. These rocks are believed to be formed by the structural changes of igneous and sedimentary rocks due to high temperature and pressures. The word metamorphic implies change of form. Examples of examples are gernicious, marble, slate, etc. According to Goldsmith, art is composed of different layers of zones. For zones, there is a metallic core in the center of the art. This is called central layer or pseudophyll. This layer consists of the elements which occur in their native state. This layer consists of the elements like manganese, iron, cobalt, nickel, copper, rubidium, ronium, etc. The central layer is surrounded by the sulfide ores, which is called sulcophyll. This layer consists of the elements which have tendency to form sulfides and is composed of mainly phosphorus, sulfur, zinc, selenium, arsenic, selenium, etc. The outer layer covering the sulfide layer is called silicate layer or lithophyll. This lithophyll, this silicate layer is surrounded by the solid crust. Solid crust. The solid crust is called atmophile and consists of the elements which occur as gases. For example, fluorine, chlorine, iodine, bromine, carbon, silicon, etc. 
then occurrence of metals metals occur in nature sometimes free but mostly in the combined state the earth's crust is the biggest source of metals so some soluble salts of metals are found in sea water noble metals which have little or no affinity of for oxygen and which resist the attack of the water and other chemical reagents other chemical reagents occur in the free that is native state does metal such as silver gold platinum occur in nature that is in the native state along with the alluvial impurities such as clay sand clay sand and some sometimes lumps of pure metals are also found these are called nuggets the standard electrode potential that is reduction potential of noble metals are always positive which means that the ions of such metals have a tendency to accept electrons and get reduced to the corresponding metals you know noble metals are the metals are those metals of group 7b 7n and group 1b of the second and third transition series of the periodic table that is why these metals occur in metallic that is native state the standard electrode potential of the active metals on the other hand are negative which means that these metals have a tendency to get oxidized to their ions in other words the metals of such metals are reluctant to get reduced to the metallic state that is why active metals occur in native nature in the form of their compounds that is in the combined state these compounds are known as minerals the minerals from which metals can be conveniently and economically extracted are referred to as ores active metals occur in the form of the following categories of ores that is sulfide ores sulfide ores oxide ores carbonate ores halide ores and sulfate ores example of sulfide ores example of sulfide ores iron pyrites galena etc oxide ores uh, hematite and carbonate ores are dolomite siderite magnesite and halide ores are uh, fluorospar carnallite and sulfate ores are epsomite angel uh, and angel site etc this completes the minerals and ores of unit 1